Hello, friends, and welcome back to another episode of Hollywood Elite Wrestling. Happy Saturday morning. I realized uh, right as I sat down to do this show that I had the uh, time set as 9.15 p.m. So a uh, good way to advertise your live stream is to uh, absolutely set the wrong time um, <laughs> so that uh, people don't know when you're live streaming. Uh, Christopher Merriman is here. Welcome. Good to see you. Uh, happy Saturday to you and to everybody else um, who is watching. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. Uh, well, we do want to spend out a special thank you to all the Golden Circle channel members. These are the fine folks who have gone to uh, solopromoter.com and clicked the join button and uh, become a Golden Circle channel member. Uh, you got a few days left. We'll be updating this uh, next week, and also we'll be giving away a couple more uh, Golden Circle channel memberships um, in April. So, um, so anyway, there you go. Big thanks to all the Golden Circle channel members. Also, uh, we will be using the FG Assistant app to roll out these um, matches. This is uh, not an authorized uh, thing. Um, if you want to find out more about it, you can go to patreon.com forward slash FG Assistant app. Uh, not authorized, not really what I meant to say. It's not an official official Phil Singer Games uh, production. Um, uh, but uh, you can check it out at uh, FG Assistant uh, over on Patreon. And uh, also I will say, as usual, is the version that I'm using today is a pre-release version. So uh, there are some things that, uh, if I, as I'm clicking around, that you may see that are different from... Um, from the regular released version. Uh, but Carl does keep these uh, pretty up to date. Uh, all right, we've got a lot of matches to go, so we're going to get going. Our opening match is going to be Vivian Vachon versus Jacqueline. Um, so just a one-on-one -on -one women's match. Both these women looking to uh, move up the rankings and get a title shot. So let's get going. Vivian Vachon going to start things off with a lockup and a snap mare. There's a dazed. Uh, test of strength. They have equal strength. Uh, so that will work. Hurt two. Drop kick two. Hurt two. Hair pull into arm bar. Down three. And there is a one-legged Boston Crab. And that catches her. Is Jackie going to submit? A roll of snake eyes would make it so. But no. Uh, does not. A rear chin lock on Jacqueline. Jacqueline reverses it with a body slam, dazing Vivian Vachon. Uh, vertical suplex, that will work. Dazed one. Oops, oops, oops. I rolled the wrong thing. Uh, there we go. Go behind takedown one. Dazed one. Uh, forearm smashes two. Vivian Vachon reverses it. Step over toe hold. That catches her. Target three. Roll eight. Uh, Jackie having uh, some tough time here. Vertical suplex, target six, roll seven. Jackie gets out but is busted open. Uh, Vivian Vachon uh, will throw her out of the ring. Uh, crawls helplessly back in. Opponent, uh, no, 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 not uh, the, crawls helplessly back in. Uh, tries to hit her with an object like a steel chair. Might be disqualified here. No DQ. Smashes Jackie with the chair. Throws her back in. Rolls on level three. There's a rear chin lock. Hurt two. Uh, corner shoulder ramps two. Choice B. And uh, let's see. Her turnbuckles will be going to whip her into the turnbuckle. Uh, the opponent tries a running clothesline, but you move. They crash into the turnbuckle opponent rolls pin uh jackie come from behind pin there out of the blue and now jackie's in control float over ddt roll one die um on even rolls jackie instead uses tornado ddt that will work target is five roll is a three look at that what a come from behind uh come from behind victory there for jackie and um, I hit the space bar, and so the bell rang again. Uh, but Jackie wins with the Tornado DDT. Wow, fantastic match that was. That's uh, two and a half stars there. And uh, fantastic opener. Neil is here. Welcome. Kamala is here. Welcome. Referee James Lawrence is here. Welcome. Welcome to you all. All right, we've got 
Uh, next match uh, is a tag match, and it is a match that um, uh, the Blonde Bombers have been. Uh, the Blonde Bombers have been moving up the rankings, but this is going to be their toughest challenge yet against the British Bulldogs. Uh, now, let's see. we got to put some double teaming. Both corners independent. Double team attempts. we got to get those on there. And then in the red corner, we have to put some manager interference attempts. Now, let me see. I don't think... Captain Lou, yeah, he's just he's just regular there. So Captain Lou uh, will have one manager interference attempt, and uh, we'll have one distractor attempt. And there we go. Hey, where's their pin saves? Where did their pin saves go? They should. Oh, because Captain Lou is in the corner, so they don't have pin saves. So let me get this over here. Pin saves. And that is a two. All right. I think we're I think we're all set up here. We're gonna have Pat Patterson start with Davy Boy Smith. That looks good. Um, and then I'm going to get my double team chart here ready to go. Let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. Here we go. Pat Patterson's going to start things off with a two-handed choke, but Davy Boy Smith powers out. Choice C. Um, what is his agility? Is a negative one. Um, ooh, for now, going to play it safe. For now, it's just the start of the match. Going to play it safe. Uh, going to go for the agility, so this will be a uh, seven or less. Eight. Does not work. Throat drop. Uh, Pat Patterson really going after that throat. Uh, David Boy Smith going to try and make the tag. He is able to do it. We can hit this new tag button down here to bring in the Dynamite Kid. And uh, all right. Well, referee James Lawrence, have a great show tonight. Uh, great uh, card. Um, all right. So uh, Dynamite Kid makes it in, and he rolls a choice B. And let's see, his turnbuckle is a B, going to go for that. Bounce forward and catch the opponent with a skull-splitting lariat. They go down hard. Hurt, too. Pat Patterson going to tag in um, Ray Stevens, who will roll on level two with a neck breaker. Hurt, too. Going to try and make the tag. They are able to do it. And uh, in comes uh, Davy Boy Smith. Uh, forearm smash two. Ray Stevens reverses it. Arm drag one. Hurt two. A uh, giant swing, a power move, but Davy Boy Smith has the power. Uh, whips Ray Stevens into the turnbuckle. And finally, the Bulldogs have a little traction here. Uh, into the turnbuckle again, crushed by a big kick. Running drop kick two. Hurt two. Uh, they are able to make the tag. And here comes Pat Patterson with a high back body drop. But no, Davy Boy Smith, um, let's see. No, he is going to roll up. Side headlock on uh, Pat Patterson. Can he make the tag? He does make the tag. Both teams using quick tags here. Arm drag one. Dazed one. Able to make the tag. Look at this. Um, forearm slug two. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, use bold stats in tag matches. So his power is a zero. So that is uh, equal. So that will work. Hurts two. Uh, not able to make the tag there. Gut wrench suplex. Hurts two. Front drop kick three. Hurts two. Gut wrench suplex. That catches him. They're not going to use a pin save yet. Target two. Roll six. And uh, not going to throw him out of the ring. There's a front drop kick. Hurt two. And there is a gut wrench suplex three. Hurt two. He's going to make a tag. And here comes uh, Dynam uh, Davy Boy Smith into the ropes. Whips him in. Comes off the powerful flying shoulder tackle. And he will roll on level two. There's a double underhook suplex. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Uh, going to roll up instead. Elbow drop to the throat. Choice B. They're really working on the throat of Davy Boy Smith. Um, uh, 
uh, oh, Neil's asking uh, James Lawrence if he wants to ref. Uh, I would take that offer, James. I hear that Neil pays his refs very well. Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, turnbuckle, his agility. Going to uh, whip him into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense into the ropes. Uh, he's going to roll up instead. There's a body slam. Davy Boy Smith reverses it. Forearm smash two. Ray Stevens reverses it. Choice B. I'm um, going <clears> to <throat> whip him into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. Double underhook suplex. Down three. Uh, Davy Boy Smith going to try and make the tag. He is able to do it. These quick tags. Monkey flip one. Christopher Merriman, no problem at all. Dazed one. Uh, headbutt, choice B, standing drop kick two, um, into the turnbuckle. Yeah, he will whip him into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick into the ropes, whips him in. The wrestler with the better ropes rating recovers. That's going to be Dynamite Kid, and he hits a hooking clothesline, hurt two. Neither of these teams can find any purchase on the other. Into the ropes, uh, come off the ropes, opponent puts you down with a running back elbow, and there is a falling headbutt, but Ray Stevens rolls out of the way, tries a giant swing. That will work. Uh, no, it won't. Dynamite Kid gets out. Another falling headbutt, but Ray Stevens rolls out of the way. Neckbreaker, two. Hurt, two. Not able to make the tag that time. Into the ropes. Going to roll up instead. I am loud. Sorry. <clears throat> How's this? Is this better? I, I can see that I was possibly peaking a little bit. Is this better? Uh, can you still hear me? Uh, punches to the midsection, two. And Dynamite Kid reverses on level one. Forearm slug. Again, they have equal power. So that will work. Hurt, two. Uh, snap suplex, three. Hurt, two. Knee drop, two. It's not better. So this is still too loud right now? I could see before that it was peaking, but it's not peaking now. You can't hear me. Why can you not hear me right now? Uh, check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Check. Can you hear me? Hello, Gerandus. Welcome. Great to have you here. Uh, let me see. I guess I could tune in here myself and see. You can hear me. Okay, let me just check and see what it sounds like. Okay. All right. Continuing on, Ray Stevens reverses it on level one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Punches to the midsection, two. Hurts, two. Going to try and make the tag. Able to do it. Man, oh, man. These super quick tags. Side headlock, one. Maybe these are two of the, the best teams currently wrestling today. Another tag over here, and Patterson is in. Flying Mare, one. Dazed, one. Uh, not able to make the tag there. High back body drop, two. Hurt, two. Not able to make the tag there. Rapid punch combination. Hurt, two. Another rapid punch combination. Davy Boy Smith reverses it. Running drop kick, two. Uh, they are able to make the tag. Look at this. Uh, punches to the midsection, two. Hurt, two. Into the ropes. No, going to roll up instead. There is a knee lift, uh, but that is an agility move, and Davy Boy Smith reverses it with a running drop kick. Hurt two into the ropes, whips him in. You come through the ropes, your opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Delayed vertical suplex. Hurt two into the ropes again, and the opponent drops down. You roll on this chart again. And uh, the opponent uses one of his specialty moves that goes in for the kill. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Missile drop kick. Let's see. His death jump is a B. His agility is a negative one. Going to go for the death jump. Uh, blast you with a flying clothesline from the top. Ooh, double headbutt. Three. Add one. So there is another fatigue. And that is a tag move. So that is a tag in. Um... And uh, Admiral Seabass, welcome. 
uh, fatigue two. And uh, let's see, we're rolling on level three defense. Down three, Ray Stevens is going to roll out of the ring, crawls helplessly back in, death jump. Dynamite Kid going up. Blasty with a clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Another death jump. Um, but no, uh, Stevens recovers, tosses him off, rolls on level three. There's a crippling pile driver. Target two, rolls six. And Stevens going to make the tag. Patterson coming in on level three. Not going to throw him out of the ring. There's some jumping stomps. And we use the bold, so that is a hurt two. Some more jumping stomps. Hurt two. Can he make the tag? No, he cannot. Throat drop on the ropes. Hurt two. Throat drop on the ropes. Down three tag and try and make the tag. Not able to do it. And uh, Pat Patterson not going to throw him out of the ring. He's got an A rating. Uh, throat drop on the ropes. Down three again. Going to try and make the tag. Can't do it. Death jump. Uh, he's going to go for it, um, but no, Dynamite Kid pops up, throws him off the top, rolls on level three. He's going to go up for a death jump of his own, blasts him with a flying clothesline, and he is going to make the tag. And Davy Boy Smith with the Tower of London, there it is. They're going to use one of their pin saves here. Let's see if it'll work. Your tag partner tries to save you, but is stopped by your opponent. Roll your pin. So the target here is going to be five. The roll is a seven. And not going to throw him out of the ring. Knee drop two. Hurt two. This match going the distance. Knee drop two. Pat Patterson reverses it. Drop kick. Um, but it's an agility move. And Dynamite Kid... Uh, not going to throw him into the ropes. Going to roll up. There's a monkey flip. Dazed one. Can he make the tag? No, he cannot. Uh, forearm slug two. Um, power. Uh, they have equal power, so that will work. Hurt two. Trying to make the tag. He is able to do it. Here comes Ray Stevens. Uh, elbow drop to the throat. Choice B. And um, going to whip him into the turnbuckle. He catches the opponent with a skull-splitting lariat. Stevens goes down. Hurt, two. Falling headbutt, two. Trying to make the tag again. Able to do it. These guys are so good with their tags. Uh, slingshot into the corner. And uh, let's see. Ropes, belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Uh, what is his power? Is a zero. And... Um, his ropes are an A. Going to go for the power. So this will work on an 8 or less. And it is a 6. It does hurt 2. Uh, throat drop on rope. Pin. That's his pin. They're not going to use a pin save here. Target 3. Roll is an 8. There's 2 fatigue over there. There's an atomic drop. Hurt 2. Airplane spin. Catches him again. They're not going to use a pin save. Target 4. Roll 5. And Dynamite Kid is busted open. And there is Bombs Away. They will use a pin save here. Rolling the pin save. Your tag partner goes crazy and interferes in a big way. Roll on the wrestler interference chart. Uh, so here we go. Um, outside interference. A brawl roll disqualification four. Uh, so no DQ there. It's close. The ref almost DQ'd. There's no disqualification. Roll one die. It is even. Your ally flattens the opponent, and you take over on level three offense. So we got to add the fatigue there, and we're rolling on level three. There's a diving headbutt plus two. Uh, they are going to use their final pin save over here, and you're oh we're rolling. This this match has gone out of control. Uh, your ally attacks the opponent with a deadly specialty move. Re roll DQ seven. No DQ. If there's no DQ, you recover and use your finisher on the opponent. So uh, let's see. There's one fatigue there. And his finisher is the bombs away, plus two. Um, but we are going to say that Captain Lou, here we go. Captain Lou uh, is going to use his distractor rating, which is a nine. Um uh, his distractor rating is a 9, so he will uh, use his distraction, one distraction attempt there. And uh, let's see, who was in the ring? Dynamite Kid. Uh, so he is able to break up the count, 
Um, but Pat Patterson is still in control. Not going to throw him out of the ring. Locks him in a Boston Crab. Hurt too. Going to make the tag here. And there is a choice F. Um, let's see. His power is a zero. So a roll of seven or less. Ten. Does it work? Dynamite Kid. Snap suplex. Down three. Uh, Ray Stevens going to try and make the tag. He is able to do it. They stopped Dynamite Kid from making the tag. Um, but Pat Patterson comes in on level one, rolling shoulder block. Uh, two, Dynamite Kid reverses. Gutter wrench suplex. Three, down three. Can they make the tag? No. Dynamite Kid able to tag in Davy Boy Smith. And... Um, he will roll on level three. There's a pile driver. Down three. Patterson's going to roll out of the ring. Drags Davy Boy Smith out. Whips him into the turnbuckle post. Throws him back in. Rolls on level three. Choice E. Uh, Scorpion Deathlock on a seven or less. He's going to go for it. Needs a seven or less. Gets it. Hurts two. Uh, jumping stomps two. Hurts two. Not going to make the tag. Uh, uh, Dynamite Kid is too hurt to make the tag. Boston Crab, three, hurt two. Rapid punch combination, hurt two. Throat drop on ropes, hurt two. Into the turnbuckle, whips him in, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two, jumping stomps, two. Down three, and here is a choice E. Uh, again, I'm gonna go for the agility. This will work on a seven or less. It does, hurt two. Uh, rapid punch combination, down three. Death jump, he's climbing up. Blast him with a flying clothesline. Uh, tosses him out of the ring. He may be counted out. Uh, let's see. Uh, he might be counted out. Target three. No, he makes it back in time. But there's one fatigue. Figure four leg lock three. Add one. Um, so on uh, roll one die. On rolls of four. Okay, so this is an add one over here. And level three, that's his pin. Uh, Captain Lou going to use his manager interference. Uh, this is their, their, their sort of last. Oh, they have one pin save left? Never mind. They're going to use their pin save. Uh, roll the pin save. Your tag partner goes crazy. Roll again on the outside interference chart. Um, your ally distracts the opponent, breaking the account. The referee orders him to leave. Well, he can't leave. Opponent rolls on level three offense. There's an atomic drop. Hurts two. Rapid punch combination. Hurts two. Uh, I can already tell this match is going to win the longest match in the history of Hollywood Elite Wrestling. Airplane spin. Hurts two. Tag. Uh, what is... Dynamite Kid, he's at a five. No, you can't tag out. You can't tag out. Hurt two. Rapid punch combination. Hurt two. Boston Crab. Hurt two. Rapid punch combination. Down three. Bombs away. There it is. Plus two. Now, Captain Lou is going to use his manager interference. Your manager enters the ring and distracts the opponent. Roll disqualification five. No DQ. If there's no disqualification, uh, you recover and attack the opponent from behind. Roll on level three offense. And uh, there is a missile drop kick. Um... <clears throat> Going to go for the agility move. Uh, no, going to go for the death jump. Here we go. <clears throat> uh, the opponent blasts you. The flying clothesline. Pile driver three. Hurt two. Uh, choice C. Uh, let's see. Going to go um, desperate. Now he's going to play it safe. Seven or left. Power move. Does work. Hurt two. Can he make the tag here? No. Uh, delayed vertical suplex. And that is going to be... A pin attempt, target four, roll nine, and now Pat Patterson busted open. And there is a fisherman suplex, down three. He is going to leave the ring. He grabs Davy Boy Smith, whips him into the turnbuckle post, throws him back in. Figure four leg lock, three. Um, <clears throat> so we'll roll one die here. Uh, foreign object, he uses the foreign object. So the target here is going to be seven. And the roll is a five, and that ends the match. What a, what an incredible match. Pat Patterson uh, is able <clears throat> to beat Davy Boy Smith 
but with uh, the foreign object. Wow, holy moly. So let's see, that is 10. That is uh, 14. So that, wait, so let's see, 10, 11, 12, 15. Uh, so that's going to be a four star match. Yikes almighty. What a match. And with the foreign object ending, uh, you, you got to figure that uh, that uh, we will see these two teams battle again. Um, I saw Neil asked what happened to the Phil Singer Games promoter group. I don't know, uh, but I will tell you what happened was the same day I got uh, messages from Facebook that said that two of my posts that I made in the Phil Singer Games promoter group uh, were flagged for copyright violations, which is weird because the only thing I post in there are links to these videos. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Something weird happened the other day in that group. I am unable to post on Facebook for uh, 30 more hours. So if you're trying to message me, I can't message you back uh, because I am in Facebook jail. Uh, I don't know what happened. Something weird happened in the group. So I don't know what it is. All right, here we go. Here's our next match. One man gang, uh, the giant killer, as he's calling himself, uh, wants to take out all the big men in uh, Hollywood Elite Wrestling. And uh, so far, I mean, he took out Andre the Giant. He took out uh, Don Leo Jonathan. He was not able to beat Sergeant Slaughter. Um, but uh, Oliver Humperdinck's like, oh, he's not a big man. He's not the kind of man we were after. So uh, here we go. One man gang versus Abdullah the Butcher is your next match. And it uh, looks like one man gang is going to start things off here. Clubbing forearms. Uh, he does have the power. That will work. Hurt too. Into the ropes. Whips him into the ropes. The wrestler with the better ropes rating. They are equal. Recovers first. So one man gang. Two handed throat lift. Gets him up off the ground. And. <clears throat> We'll go for the agility move. This is a 11 or less. It does work. Ooh, that catches uh, Abdullah the Butcher. Target one, so one fatigue there. Uh, out of the ring. Not going to throw him out of the ring. He's going to roll up instead. Body slam. He gets him up. No, he doesn't. Abdullah the Butcher stops him with a headbutt. Dazed one. Uh, choice B. Let's see, his turnbuckle is a B. Going to go for that. Whips him into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Uh, into the ropes, whips him into the ropes. Uh, opponent rolls on level two offense. Headlock and punch, two. Hurt, two. Headbutt, two. Uh, oops, wait, 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 wait. Headbutt, two. One man gang reverses it with a headbutt of his own. Uh, that is a hurt, two. I'm going to pause the match for a second because I realize... <clears throat> I did not add Oliver Humperdinck's manager interference attempts and distraction attempts. And, uh, okay, starting the match up again. Uh, here we go. Hurts, too. Into the ropes. Whips Abdullah the Butcher into the ropes. Goes in for the kill. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Falling face slam. That catches him again. Target two. Roll is a four. One man gang. 747 splash. Roll one die on a roll of one. The opponent moves. No, he does not. This is a plus three. Target six. Roll six. The match is over. And the one man gang has defeated another giant. Holy moly, ladies and gentlemen. Kathy Evans, welcome. Great to have you here. Uh, so let's see. This is a one and a half star match, but uh, Oliver Humperdinck. Very excited that they have beaten another big man. Who was a, we, we had the bounty. Who was going to beat Andre the Giant? And now it looks like uh, uh, the, the new bounty is going to be who's going to beat one man gang. I mean, Sergeant Slaughter did beat him. But uh, all right, it's time for the first of three title matches. And this is going to be for the Women's World Championship. 
Penny Banner versus Joyce Grable. Let's roll the dice. Let's get going. Penny Banner looking to extend her reign. Uh, leg trip one. Dazed one. Head scissors. Uh, has the agility. That will work. Hurt two. Flying drop kicks three. Hurt two. Hammer lock two. Joyce Grable reverses it. Uh, bottom wrist lock one. Penny Banner reverses it. Flying mare with hair. Uh, Joyce Grable gets out of that. Single leg trip. Penny Banner reverses it. Head scissors two. Uh, agility. She has the agility. That will work. Hurt two. Flying drop kicks three. That catches her. Target three. Roll is a nine. There's one fatigue. There's a sunset flip. Target five. Roll is an eight. And a death jump climbing up to the top. Uh, no, she's going to roll up instead. There's a choice E. And uh, going to go for the agility move. This will work on a nine or less. It does. Uh, ooh, Joyce Grable. i got to fix her card. I think I made a note about this last time, but I got to make sure I do it now. I did fix that. Huh. We got to see. We got to see what's happening. Uh, so let's see. Level three defense two. That is a down three. So she is down. Airplane swing three. Hurt two. Scoop slam two. Hurt two. Uh, atomic drop choice E again gonna go for agility nine or less it does work uh, down three she is down sunset flip plus one target six roll six and just like that the match is over solid defense by Penny Banner uh, winning with a sunset flip here today and we'll get one star because it's a championship match so this will be two and a half stars although I mean Kind of. It was kind of a squash, but um, we will we will knock it down uh, as is. It's time for a World Tag Team Championship match. And uh, this is for the titles. And this is the Briscoes versus the Miracle Violence Connection. And uh, we're actually going to have Terry Gordy start with Jack Briscoe. Rolling the dice. Oh, they both roll a nine. Uh, there's an eight. Terry Gordy. Into the ropes, whips him into the ropes. A come the ropes with a flying shoulder tackle. And there is a deep arm drag. Terry Gordy reverses it uh, into the turnbuckle. No, he is going to roll up. Knee lift two, um, but as an agility move, he should have uh, thrown him in the turnbuckle. Uh, knee breaker two, dazed one. Fireman's carry one, dazed one. Going to try and make the tag. He is able to do it. Here comes Doc, clubbing forearm. Uh, that will work. Hurt two, going to try and make the tag. Not able to do it. Uh, into the ropes. No, going to roll up instead. Clubbing forearm two. Hurt two. Uh, football tackle. Um, in tag team matches, use double football tackle. Three, add one. Tag. Uh, so that is an add one move. Hurt two. Elbow hammer two. Hurt two. He is able to make the tag there. Here comes Jack Briscoe. Does he have use bold instructions when in tag team matches? Okay, so we're using the bold instructions. Um, armbar two. Power move. You're not gonna. You're not gonna win power against uh, Terry Gordy. Uh, double knee drop. Hurt two. Uh, elbow hammer two. Jerry Briscoe uh, reverses it on level two because we're using the bold instructions. Boston Crab hurt two into the turnbuckle. Uh, no, he's going to roll up instead. Armbar, no, bad choice. Uh, double knee drop two. Hurt two. Lariat three. Hurt two. Double knee drop two. Jerry Briscoe reverses it. Into the turnbuckle, no. Going to roll up instead. Fireman's carry, one. Terry Gordy reverses it. Back suplex, three. Hurt, two. Elbow hammer, two. Uh, using the bold, that is a hurt, two. Into the turnbuckle. Whips him in, crushed by a big kick. Elbow hammer, two. Hurt, two. Going to make the tag. Here comes Doc with a headbutt. Hurt, two. Uh, not able to make the tag. There's a big lariat. Down three. He's not going to leave the ring. Uh, superplex. Choice H. Um, ooh, agility. 
Gonna have to go for the death jump. Could be a mistake. The opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline. You're in trouble. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Not gonna throw him out of the ring. Uh, there's a big lariat. Down three. Can he make the tag? Yes. He is able to make the tag. Here comes Jack. Double leg takedown. Two. Can he make the tag? No, he cannot. Uh, deep arm drag. Two. Dazed one. Uh, body slam two, but that is a power move. And uh, he's going to get, uh, no, he's going to roll up instead. Elbow drop, uh, but that's an agility move. And Jack, it's a deep arm drag, but Dr. Death Steve Williams reverses it. Headbutt two. Jack Briscoe moves out of the way, tries that deep arm drag again. Uh, but uh, Doc is able to make the tag. And there is a right hand punch. Uh, Jack Briscoe reverses it. Drop kick on Terry Gordy. Hurt two. Suplex assortment. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Whips him into the ropes. The opponent drops down. Roll again on this chart. Roll again. Roll again. Roll again. The opponent uses one of the specialty moves. Goes in for the kill. Gut wrench backbreaker. Down three. Terry Gordy is going to leave the ring. Um, and he whips Jack Briscoe into the announce table. He may be disqualified here. Uh, target is five. Roll is a five. The match ends in a DQ due to brawling outside of the ring. Um, DQ due to brawling outside the ring. And... Uh, we'll give it one star. It just, uh, actually, we'll give it one and a half stars. Uh, there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event. And that is Kurt Angle going up against Sergeant Slaughter. Now, I will say, um, Sergeant Slaughter will sort of be, well, he doesn't have any sort of, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is for the World Championship. Kurt Angle versus Sergeant Slaughter. Rolling the dice, ringing the bells. Sergeant Slaughter going to start things off. Turnbuckle slingshot. Choice B. Uh, let's see. He's got a negative two, and his turnbuckle is an A. Going to go for the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Into the ropes. Whips him in. The opponent used one of his specialty moves and goes in for the kill. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Not going to throw him out of the ring. There's a gut buster. Three. Hurts two. Into the ropes again. Drop down. Roll again on this chart. You come up the ropes. The opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Into the ropes again. Drop down. Roll again. The opponent gets a position for a back body drop. Angle hits him with a pile driver. And Angle locks in the ankle lock. Uh, all right. So let me pause this really quick. And add a match counter. Um, to the blue corner. So right now it is at a zero, <clears throat> um, and uh, so we're going to roll the pin here. Target is two, roll is an 11, but we will bump that up to a one. And there is the Olympic slam. Look at this. Target three, roll a six, and there's the Olympic slam again. Target four, roll is a seven. And going up for a death jump. The opponent climbs the top. Sergeant Slaughter recovers, throws him off, rolls on level three. There's the Slaughter Cannon. Hurts two. Body slam two. Kurt Angle reverses it. Body scissors and sleeper. Sergeant Slaughter powers out, hits a drop kick. Hurts two. A body slam. Hurts two. Drop kick two. Dazed one. And there is a handstand knee drops. Uh, that will work. Target two. Hurt. I mean, um, hurt two. Uh, throat drop on the ropes. Hurt two. Body slam two. Kurt Angle reverses it. Chest drop on top rope. Choice A. And <clears throat> um, let's see. Throw the opponent into the ropes. His ropes are a B. His power is two. Going to go for the ropes. Whips him into the ropes. Drops down, roll again. You come up the ropes. You follow up a flying shoulder tackle. Roll on level two offense. Another throat drop on the ropes. And Angle is down. There's the slaughter cannon. Hurts two. Gut buster three. Hurts two. Throat drop on ropes. Hurts two. 
Gutbuster three, down three. There's the Cobra Clutch. He locks it in. Are we going to have a new champ? The target is five. The roll is a nine. Angle not given up yet. There's the Slaughter Cannon. Hurt two. Drop kick two. Hurt two. Body slam two. Hurt two. Gutbuster three. Hurt two. Gutbuster three, down three. Uh, not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to whip him into the ropes. You caught the ropes. The opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Gutbuster three. Down three. Angle's not leaving the ring. He's staying to fight. Uh, into the ropes again. Uh, who is more powerful? They have equal power. So Sergeant Slaughter will roll on level two. Uh, body slam two. Hurt two. Kick with military boots. Dazed one. Elbow drops, two, hurts, two. Throw drop on the ropes, hurts, two. Into the ropes. Uh, you come up the ropes, the opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. There's another drop kick. Hurt, two. Sergeant throwing everything at him that he possibly can. Angle reverses. Hits a backbreaker. Down three. Slaughter is going to leave the ring. He crawls helplessly back in. Death jump. You stumble to your feet. A perfect cross body block. Does the champ have him? Target is five. Roll is a ten. And Sergeant Slaughter bloodied and busted open. And Angle locks in the ankle lock. This is a plus one so the target here is going to be seven the roll is a five and the champ retains the title with the ankle lock holy moly what a match that was all right so that will get one star for a title match and so that'll be another four star match there you go two four star matches here today on hollywood elite wrestling well, ladies and gentlemen, that was pretty fantastic. Uh, a fantastic evening. Um, so we'll go back over here to the rankings because I'll show you. Um, let's see. So Kurt Angle, we're going to exclude the women from this uh, filter. Uh, so Kurt Angle up here. Uh, One Man Gang still hasn't cracked the, uh, the top 10 yet. But... If we click all-time records and we go down to uh, longest match, there it is, the Blonde Bombers versus the British Bulldogs. 53 minutes! That's how long, because I triple the, the actual time. So uh, 53 minutes uh, there. Also, yeah, let me... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? What's happening? Let me check. Uh, let's check our, our tag rankings. And the Briscoe brothers uh, up in the top. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see who they go up again next. But there is this new feature on FG Assistant. may not be available to everybody yet. Um, but where it's injury and fatigue history. So let me see. Uh, fatigue info. So you can click. So Abdullah the Butcher has three accumulated fatigue. Um, and uh, what this does is, let me see if I can find uh, somebody else who wrestled today. Who's somebody else that wrestled today? What this does is, um, I would not use this in Hollywood Elite Wrestling. Uh, so Davy Boy Smith has five fatigue. Uh, so what this is, is uh, this is a, a kind of an idea that Carl Zilla came up with that once a wrestler hits 250 um, accumulated fatigue, uh, they start thinking about retirement. So if you're running a Fed, uh, this is a kind of a good way to have retirement happen um like you could set a number it doesn't have to be 250 it could be 300 uh it could be um 500 whatever and you don't even have to do this at all but it's just a really interesting concept um that you can track how much fatigue a wrestler has dynamite kid also has five fatigue you um now a lot of these people will have zero just because uh i haven't they haven't wrestled in um this this fatigue thing is brand new um, so you could go back in and you can add it, but I'm just going to go from here and I don't think I'm going to, 
have anybody retire in Hollywood Elite Wrestling, but it's just an interesting, fun little concept. Or 100, that's right, Neil. You could, you could make it lower if you wanted to. Um, all right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it. Uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Christopher Merriman, referee James Lawrence, Neil Lau, uh, Kamala, uh, Gerandis was in here, Christopher Merriman, uh, Admiral Seabass, Kathy Evans, Miho Burns, um, and everyone else. Again, a big shout out to all the Golden Circle channel members. Appreciate your support. And uh, that is going to do it. Uh, we will be back soon. I hope you all have a, a great weekend. Happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Kurt Angle, still uh, your Hollywood Elite Wrestling Champion. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>